Even 15 years ago, this pickup truck was considered a working tool for people engaged in simple, harsh work. Today, it is increasingly being bought by those who simply like such a car, or as an alternative to SUVs. What will you face when operating the L200? We should pay tribute to Mitsubishi, which was one of the first to bring its pickup truck to the market. L200 No appeared on official sale in 2007. It was a second-generation model, which, with a slight restyling, is presented in the dealer network even now. The unpredictable demand for the car did not bother dealers, they counted on the future and did not lose. Today Mitsubishi L200, updated model, is one of the most sought-after pickups on the market. Its predecessor is also unpretentious, simple, and reliable. It is based on a powerful frame on which a four-door body with a double cab for five seats rests, others have not taken root with us. At different times, four-cylinder engines were installed on the L200, a 2.5-liter turbo diesel, initially 100 horsepower, and since 2001, 115 horsepower, and a 2.4-liter gasoline, 132 horsepower. For the latest generation model, a 3.5-liter V6 petrol is also offered in the markets of some countries. Transmission, 5-speed manual. Transmission 4 times 4 of the part-time type without center differential, all-wheel drive can only be used off-road, with a rigidly connected front axle and a lower gear. Those who previously drove the previous generation Pajero Sport will probably not have to get used to the internal arrangement of the L200. The cars are almost identical in interior design. True, the front panel of the pickup truck looks simpler than the Jeep one but the location of the transmission levers and other controls is the same. In addition, the cars have a common body up to the A pillars. For example, their front doors are interchangeable because the Pajero Sport is built on a shortened L200 platform. In the driver's seat, despite the fact that it is not adjustable in height, you can only move the steering wheel up or down. It is quite comfortable. True, a tall person will not have enough longitudinal adjustment and the pillow will seem a bit short. Yes, and on the back sofa, even two tall riders will not feel quite comfortable. And yet, the rear doors of the Mitsubishi L200 are quite narrow, and their thresholds are high from the ground, so climbing into the second row of seats is not very convenient. The quality of the finished pickup is inferior to most mid-size SUVs. On the other hand, fans of utility cars are unlikely to bemoan hard plastics or crudely made buttons, knobs, and controls. The main thing is that the assembly and fitting of interior details are thorough, and the practical interior is easy to wash and clean. Since dealers officially started selling the Mitsubishi L200 only in 2007, the bulk of cars from the early years of production are imported mainly from Russia and Europe. As a rule, such pickups in the list of standard equipment included only power steering, headlight washers, central locking, audio preparation and a self-locking rear differential. If you are lucky enough to meet a richer version, then it will often be supplemented by power windows and mirrors, a driver's airbag, air conditioning, and heated front seats. Many models are equipped with alloy wheels, wheel arch extensions and footrests. There were instances with ABS. The secret is simple. Initially, the prices for the Mitsubishi L200 were very democratic, and the first owners did not skimp on options for their pickup truck. The attractive cost and great features of this car make it a very profitable purchase even now. L200 pickups of these years are most often found with the 4D56 2.5-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel. These engines are reliable and demanding on fuel quality. However, the gasoline engine tolerates our operating conditions without any problems. Spark plugs on a gasoline engine can withstand an average of 15,000 kilometers. There are problems with electronic units and sensors but they are not widespread. The diesel modification of a pickup truck is much more common. The turbo diesel is equipped with a heated filter, so the mechanical injection pump works reliably in cold weather. But when replacing the timing belt, according to the regulations, after 90,000 kilometers on both engines, at the same time, it is necessary to change the front oil seals of the crankshaft and camshaft. They cost a penny, but in order not to pay for the work a second time, it is better not to neglect this precaution. According to statistics, these parts rarely last more than 100,000 kilometers. The transmission is a priori reliable. We must be prepared for the fact that every MOT, that is, after 10,000 kilometers, on the Mitsubishi L200 will have to inject the crosses of the drive shaft and steering arm, as well as ball bearings. The procedure is mandatory, as it significantly extends their service life. 
suspension front, independent torsion bar, rear, rigid bridge on leaf springs. In severe cold, it happens that the plastic bushings of the torsion bars burst. You will recognize this by the unpleasant squeaks that will be heard from under the bottom of the pickup truck when driving over bumps. Engines. We have more widespread diesel versions of the L200. This is not typical for the market. The motor is picky about our diesel fuel. But when buying a used car, its diagnostics is required. After 150,000 kilometers, there may be problems with the fuel pump. And its repair or, worse, replacement is an expensive business. After two or three winters, the pipes and the radiator tank corrode. Front suspension. L200 independent torsion bar. In the steering, a gearbox, the universal joints of which are injected at each MOT. The pendulum of the helmsman begins to tap to 60,000 kilometers, but you cannot rush to replace it. It easily goes the same amount. Electrical equipment. Pay attention to the fuse box, which are located in the cab next to the clutch pedal. Due to contact with it, the electrical wiring of this unit is often frayed. Servicemen in this case usually reinstall the fuse box higher. Transmission. Simple and strong. The front axle is connected only on slippery roads and off-road at speeds up to 100 km per hour. In addition to injection of cross pieces, it is recommended to update special fluids in the gearbox, transfer case, rear axle and front gearbox every 60,000 km. This will help to significantly extend their service life. Front axle with semi-elliptical leaf springs. After 100,000 km, the bushings of the earring fastening burst on them and the plastic anti-creak liners wear out body. On machines with homemade wheel arch extensions, the wings are corroded at the drilling sites for installing these extensions. There were cases when the hood hinges broke, there was even a revocable action on this occasion. And on expensive versions, chrome parts faded. 